Hey everybody, it's Dayton Dave and we're Trip Rich. <laughs> and today we are gonna keep Dayton funky. Okay, we're here on Stone Street, downtown Dayton. And this is a mural put together by, you see Maury Howard, the little help of Brittany Long and Shirley Tucker. And it's about the history of funk music in Dayton, Ohio. Now you're gonna have to educate me on this, Dave, because I'm not originally from Dayton. I'm originally from Columbus, so okay. tell me a little bit more about this. Well, funk uh, started back probably about the 60s. Uh, James Brown was one of your first big time funk artists. I really started hitting Dayton in the mid 70s, about 75 to about the mid 80s. And this mural wall here honors, I believe there's seven of the artists that call Dayton home. Uh, first one we're looking at here is Lakeside, and that's our Fantastic Boys, which really went well. Uh, had the line, slide, glide, slippity slide, Fantastic Boys. And uh, this is probably one of the more popular bands with the Ohio Players. Uh, the album Honey, which had a song called Honey on it, but the one you're probably most familiar with is Love Roller Coaster. Oh yeah, I remember that. It's probably what you got your groove on back in the day, huh, Rich? Oh yeah. Took some girls back to the caboose, played a little Love Roller Coaster. <laughs> Okay, our next artist is Fazo. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about Fazo. Riding High, though, is one of their uh, hit songs. Each one of these artists, they'll, they'll put the artist in one of their hit songs with it. Here's a nice mural of some of the artists. And yes, Dayton is the land of funk. And Rich, what are you doing as a, I know you're from Columbus originally, but you're in Dayton now. What are you doing to keep Dayton funky? Uh, lack of showering or what, what <laughs> kind of methods are you using? Does it show? I mean, can we smell it? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, I don't know. I mean, I haven't really thought of it that way. I gotta start thinking about that. Now, I'd love to play some of the, some of the tracks on this, but this is all copyrighted material and, and you can't play that on YouTube, so anybody you'll have to look up these songs for yourself. Well, that's the whole point of this video. Mm -hmm. Get you interested, to do your own research, and find out more about it. There you go. Sun is here, man. Sun, another popular one. Yeah, I have a question. Yes, sir. Museum still open? Did they close it down? Ah, uh, well. It's Everything's closed now, but I I'm mean, not, I, you know what? I heard rumors that it was closed. I'm not sure, honestly, if it's open yet or not. Well, I know. What was it, a couple years? We were trying to go down there, and, and uh, it wasn't open, or it had certain hours to call for appointment, all that. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. Um, Heat Wave, uh, Through Vine, another song I know they did was Boogie Nights. Okay, and that's basically the movie, Burt Reynolds' movie, Boogie Nights. Was, was what that movie was named after, but they didn't use a song in there because uh, I believe it was the wild, one of the Wilders who's from Dayton who made the song was real uh, religious and didn't want his song involved with a movie about pornography. Okay. Another band was Slave out of Dayton, and like I said, every one of these were, were popular in the late 70s, early, early 80s. Okay, here's our last band is, is Zap. Okay, and Zap was uh, Zap and Roger, Roger Troutman, Troutman brothers, a few other relatives. Um, now they're probably had some of the biggest hits. Pure Love, uh, More Bounce to the Ounce. Roger had uh, the song "I Want to Be Your Man," which uh, old Rich here I was talking about that to him, and I sent the song to him, and he thought I was hitting on him. Not the case. But uh, if you're familiar with the Tupac and Dr. Dre song uh, "California Love." Yeah. Okay. Sounds familiar. Okay. Roger Troutman did all the uh, the uh, voice work on that. 
uh, get a, a, I guess they called it a voice box where you, you talk into something and it and plays through an instrument. So it sounds kind of like a computer talking. Kind of like, uh, who was Rock, the rock, rocker did that? Oh, uh, Jimi Hendrix? No. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. But, uh, but in 1999, Roger Troutman was murdered uh, outside their studio off Salem Avenue by his brother Larry. And Larry uh, committed suicide after that. Huh. But uh, there you have it, folks. A look at the funk murals in downtown Dayton.